Hi everyone and welcome to a 3D printer upgrade video and in this one we're going to be dealing with this awful fan that comes in the Meanwhile power supply unit and it makes an absolute racket when it cuts in and luckily I have a spare knock to a 120 mil fan and we're going to see if we can mount that on this case so I think we're going to head over to the bench to start with and disassemble this. So dismounting the PSU from the 3D printer, we can then take it apart, take off the top cover and look at the fan. And luckily the fan uh, specs for current draw and uh, wattage and voltage actually matches. So that's really good news. But um, we're obviously gonna have to modify the actual PSU case. But before we do that, we better reassemble it because we've actually got to 3D print the mount for it. And before we do that, we've got to head over to Fusion 360 to design the mount. So here we are in Fusion 360, and this is actually quite easy. We're just using a plate with a big hole in the middle that's 120 mil wide, and then make some sides on it, which we're going to mount onto the chassis or the PSU case using the existing screw holes and we can print that out which took hardly any time at all <laughs> even with time lapse then we can put the mount onto the fan for now and also then we'll start dealing with the electronics as well ahead of time so we obviously don't need a huge long cable like that so we'll snip that off and also we don't need the three pin connector that the fan comes with we only need the two pin connector that the original fan had so we've also cut that off we'll strip the wires down and we'll basically uh, using the same color scheme so red and black there we'll attach the two pin connector and solder that to the 120 mil fan. A bit of heat shrink later and that's all ready to go and then it's over to the workshop to start cutting out the case. So using a Dremel we uh, cut the case out then we started also using a variety of methods to try and smooth out those uh, rough edges with uh, files. Uh, I think I used some emery cloth as well and uh, a deburring tool to help with that and when I'd finished that it all looked still a bit ropey so we just hit that with some black spray paint just to tidy everything up and you'll also notice I've drilled a hole next to the big hole as well which is where the cable will go so it's just now a case of reassembling it and this time rather than screwing the case together with the fan attached to the back we can put the cover bracket on there and screw that into the side of the case chassis and then putting our uh, switch back on it's all ready to go only one thing left though is what we do need to do on here is we've got an exposed set of fan blades on there so we're going to head back over to Fusion 360 and again another fairly simple shape to do so we just do a quick sketch with the fan circle in there we'll do a radial pattern um, and then a lot of chamfering and repeat that around the fan unit there so it makes a kind of grill and then print that out and then we can put that on the fan and this thing now when it is working is almost completely silent you can hardly hear it and it's fantastic um, the models are available on Thingiverse so uh, thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next video